Hello friends, today we are going to learn STAX instruction of 8085 microprocessor. Here ST stands for store, A stands for accumulator, so it will store the value of accumulator. X stands for register pair, so it will store the value of accumulator on content of content of register pair and which register pair that is written in instruction. Let's try to take one example to understand it clearly. Suppose the instruction is written STAXB. So what will happen? It will transfer the content of accumulator. Okay. So we will check what is value of BC register pair. Suppose BC is 2050H and this 2050H will be treated as memory location. Okay. And on 2050 memory location, data is 33h content of accumulator is <coughs> 22h so what will happen the value of accumulator which is 22h will get copied on content of content of stack pointer content of content of b register okay or stack pointer there are so many instructions of spa like stax sp stax sp stand for store the value of accumulator on stack pointer okay so content of bc register pair is 2050h and the content of content of bc register pair is 33h so because of this instruction what will happen the content of accumulator will get copied to content of content of register pair okay what will be addressing mode of this instruction addressing mode will be register indirect addressing mode because we are not tra uh, transferring data directly, we are transferring it through content of content of register pair. Or there is one shortcut by which you can remember. If you see X written in instruction, like in STAX, you can see X is written. That's why whenever you see X written in instruction, then its addressing mode becomes register indirect addressing mode. So this is shortcut technique. If X is present, then addressing mode is register indirect addressing mode then what will be group since we are transferring data from accumulator to memory that's why this instruction belongs to data transfer group how many byte instruction it will be since there is no digit in stax instruction let's say stax sp is written and since no data is written no digit is written in this instruction that's why it will be one byte instruction you can remember it as a rule if no digit is given in instruction, then it will be a one byte instruction. Then how many flags this instruction will affect? It will not affect any flag because it belongs to data transfer group. Only flags are getting affected when we perform arithmetic and logical operations. But over here, we are just transferring data. That's why no flags are getting affected. Let's take example STAXSP. Okay, so what will happen? The content of accumulator will get copied on SP. SP stand for stack pointer. Now what is stack? Stack is vertical memory. Okay, stack is vertical memory. And let's say it is full up to this memory location. Let's say 2030H. So this 2030H will be pointed by stack pointer. So stack pointer will tell us your stack is full up to which memory location. So it is full up to 2030H memory location. Okay. So before execution of this instruction, what we will check before execution of this instruction, we will check value of accumulator, let's say which is 15H and the value of stack pointer, which is 2030H. And on 2030H, 2030H data is 77H. So what will happen because of this? Accumulator value will get copied on content of content of stack pointer. Content of stack pointer is 2030H and the content of content of stack pointer is 77H. So it will replace 77H and the content of 2030H will become 15H whereas content of accumulator will remain unchanged which is 15H. Also, content of stack pointer will also remain unchanged, which will remain 2030H. 
let's take example number 2 suppose instruction is stax b so we will store accumulator on register pair bc pair so before execution of this instruction we should check content of accumulator which is let's say 11h content of bc pair let's say which is also 11 11h and on 11 11 h location data is 22 h so what will happen the content of 11 11 h will get modified because it will store the content of accumulator to content of content of bc register pair content of bc register pair is 11 11 h and the value of 11 11 h or content of 11 11 h is 22 h so this 22 h will get replaced by the content of accumulator that's why it will become 11 h whereas content of accumulator will remain unchanged which is 11 h content of bc register pair will also remain unchanged which is 11 11 h now here are some practice problems problem number one says that instruction is stxb accumulator is holding 22 bc is holding 50 20 and on 50 20 location data is 35 so what will happen after this instruction then second instruction is staxd content of accumulator is 17h content of de is 8090h and on 8090h data is 66h so what will happen because of this instruction write your answer in comments thank you